CFG Gamecast, episode number 105, a weekly podcast created by gamers and streamers alike to discuss the latest gaming topics from the previous week. We stream a new episode on the weekends and release it on podcast services like Apple, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and so much more. So show us some love. Give us a follow, a like, a comment, what have you on any of our podcast services that are out there, or go to our main website, confreaksandgeeks.com to not miss an episode. I am Mr. CFG Games himself, David Screen, and with me today are my two awesome co-hosts. I got Lex. The congratulations, by the way, uh, oh, yeah. uh, in the second set. Like, how you doing, my cyborg? I'm good. I totally, I, like this whole time, I've been picking the, my knee scab from, from proposing. I got a scab. <laughs> I was aggressive with it. Uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, no, I, I wifeed up dust. So sorry, guys, you can't have them. Uh, <laughs> I aggressively turned. He, he was like stone cold. And at some point after I said like what I said to him, I said, mm-hmm. Are, did you have a stroke? Are you okay? And he goes, <laughs> my face hasn't moved at all, has it? I said, no. <laughs> and he grabs, he squeezed my hand and he says, come here and like kissed me. And he just looked like, it was like someone showed him ghosts for the first time. I was like, are you okay? <laughs> you can say no and keep the ring. It's pretty cool. <laughs> he was like, no, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Good to have him something. So all right, cute. I'll take you up on that offer. <laughs> so wait a minute, so like you probably have the worst, like the craziest, like rea- like reaction from because du- Dust doesn't really react a lot, in my opinion. Like he really holds his uh, oh, emotions kind of like in the no, weird check. You've been not. fooled, my friend. You've still You've been, been duped. Fooled. You have been duped by the that is that mm. is like Mister Suit and Tie Dust. No, you've mm. been duped, sir. Because the mm. dust we know talks trash about everybody and everything, <laughs> and he's he's like gossip girl XOXO back there. No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. Well, I can't believe you're just calling mm-hmm. him out like that. Oh, he knows. <laughs> he, he's probably nodding in the other room, going, "Yep." Mm-hmm. Maybe even on the stream. Who knows? <laughs> it's very possible. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. then, no, so he you- he giggles a lot. He's yeah, very you- he's very loud. How are you? Uh, so where you at in gaming this week? Uh, uh, in that one uh, horror game you've been playing? Oh, so we started Hell Mode in White Day, and I obviously kept dying because it's Hell Mode. You know, that's mm. you're ex- you're expecting to die. I don't think I triggered anything. I got killed before I could make it up a stairwell, and I had I was being forced to go that way. So there's no like mm. really getting away from it. You just have to run. And I died three times and it was like, this is how many minutes you have on this. Um, I was like, excuse you? You're giving me an end screen. No. So hmm. I don't I don't know what the heck's going on with that. Well, you're doing you're playing you're playing the hardcore mode, so that's pretty yeah. that's it. So three that's times permadeath. and that's that's permadeath? Are you for real? There's no mm-hmm. way. There is no uh, way. Yeah, D, the, the reason there's music over it is because you hear me go, are you okay? Did you have a stroke? Um, <laughs> proposing to him. Uh, yeah, so I I think I'm gonna play hard mode one more time and call it, mm. and and just say like I got the most out of the game because there I don't think I can complete hell mode. Permadeath after three times, you get injured by every ghost you and in, in, you encounter. Yeah, that's very true. There's no way. You should, well, you should play. You should play. Uh, you should play 12 minutes if you get a chance. I think yeah. you'll enjoy 12 minutes. I'm on a budget good. until the 10th. I'm, right. I've been, Don't you I, have Game Pass? I do. Is it free on yeah, Game Pass? It's on Game Pass. Yes. Yes. For PC though, is it on PC or for just yes. the Xbox? How do you guys think I played it, guys? I just played on the Xbox. I'm not, I'm, I'm, <laughs> what, what Xbox that I've never owned? Yeah, he's never owned an Xbox. <laughs> oh, I'm <laughs> Uh, yeah. Aww, but do you know who? Cry. Do you know who's the professional Dave Fenoy cosplayer? Oh, I do. His name is the five star general of the itty bitty Smitty committee. I got Smitty in the third seat. How's it going, my yeah. dude? Yo, just doing baby, baby and mama doing well. Uh, mm-hmm. We're getting adjusted and, and doing all the all those things. Um, I've, I've, it's crazy, dude. I've been playing a lot of raid shadow legends that one wow. that just completely, they just bombard you with so much. And like, I, I did it cause my buddy, Alessio, uh, Alejo, um, you know, had one of the things is like, Hey, could people sign up or whatever? And I was like, Oh yeah, I'll do it. I'll go through the thing or whatever. Totally gotten addicted to it. Uh-oh. Uh, 
Marvel Revelations, that mobile game. I've been playing oh, that yeah. a little bit. Like I'm enjoying that. Um, yeah. Other than that, though, I got through uh, the DLC for uh, Watchdog Legion. So I went through mm. Bloodline. That was pretty good uh, with Aiden Pierce. Uh, I haven't messed around with their online really or anything like that. But other than that, I want to focus back up, especially with a date for Halo Infinite. I like to focus back up on running through those campaigns. I still got Mass, Mass Effect Two that I need to start, and um, and uh, yeah, I kind of I need to see where <laughs> I'm at as far as with stuff. Paternity leave is almost up, so. It's back mm. to work next week. But uh, other than that, everything has been uh, going pretty, pretty smooth. What about yourself, brother? I'm actually surprised because I was thinking, like, you're just trying to get that uh, try to get that sponsorship for Raid all of a sudden. <laughs> just be like, no, okay, here we go. Even, yeah, no. And I, they've sent something to me before. And I've seen stuff about it. But, yeah. you know, I've never really gave it any mind. I didn't realize that you could play it on PC as well. So mm-hmm. I, yeah, I picked it up on PC. I don't have it on, on, uh, uh, mobile that, Oh, you know what else too? Like we recently subscribed to Apple plus, uh, no, or Apple, whatever <laughs> Apple TV. Yeah. And yeah. dude, this show mythic quest, if you have <gasps> no, oh, yeah. it watch is that. so damn good. I love it. Dude, I love uh, it. It's hilarious. Apple TV's original shows. Ted Lasso's one you should definitely watch. I want to watch uh, that yeah. too. I've yeah. So that. many. Schmigadoon is a good one too. That's the one with the uh uh dude from a key and peel. I forgot. Uh from key uh yeah. he's in it. And uh the dude Cecily Strong from Saturday Night Live. Hilarious. And uh yeah, Mystic Quest is hilarious. I think that there's two uh two seasons on uh of yeah. uh Mystic Quest, right? Yeah, I need to I need yeah, to start I only watched season. one episode. Yeah, and it's only like five dollars uh, a it. month. Yeah, yeah that's I find exactly. Very exactly. Yeah, so. mm. oh, I, like, I think it's worth it. It's got some nice original shows on there and stuff like that. I didn't realize. I want to watch that morning show that's on there as well. Uh, mm. It's like that news show, like a morning team. Yeah, yeah, that looked like it. Uh, it, it, it I can't remember. Comedy? It's a comedy. I can't remember if it's a comedy. I feel like it is, but it also might not be. Hmm. Mm, yeah, I have oh, hair, me, Smitty. I have the longest. You, I have longer <laughs> hair. Stop it. No, what are you talking about? You oh, put them away. Stop it. <laughs> Look at that. Like my. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You the, you the yeah, hair, what? the hair, the hair flip to the opposite side. But as for me, <laughs> <laughs> I've been busy as always, man. I've been actually. I'm. I'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. I think this is going to be the final week of my craziness of uh, being away from streaming. Uh, so it's looking really, really good. Got some cool stuff coming in the uh, in the future. What I am also hyped about is that we'll, that we finally got what I've been what I've been working for is a PS5 to get rid uh, for for charity. I am so hyped yes. that we got that we got that going. So so now we're gonna be we're gonna be raffling off a PS5 for our extra life uh, stream in no, in November. So so hi- hyped up for that. Uh, and then uh, but yeah, but, but other than that, I've just been uh, working with some other stuff. I've just been uh. Uh, dealing with some interviews and uh, trying to get uh, kind of get wanting to get uh, originally I was going to go to PAX but uh, I decided I decided not to um, because of uh, you know the, the the not the right climate right now to do it uh, so uh, but uh, uh, decided to back it back down so instead I decided to come stay at home and play some more Final Fantasy 14 so, <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah, so there you go so that's my uh, that was my official choice. It's like, yeah, I could go out and go do stuff that's active, but no, I'm I'm gonna stay at home, play some more uh, MMO <laughs> MMO mm-hmm. RPGs. Yeah, but anyways, but I know you don't want to talk about my Final Fantasy addiction, <laughs> my crack addiction right now. So let's go through the normal rig and roll that we normally like to do each and every week. So we uh, choose a topic or discussion within video games from the previous week. The topic would or could be about a specific game or something that happened in the gaming industry itself. And uh, we don't want to talk about it amongst ourselves. We want you, the listeners or viewers on Twitch uh youtube or facebook live to be a part of the conversation so if there's something that you want to add or chime in by all means type it inside the chat we would love to discuss it with you and then we'll we can go from there so let's get this party started let's start this off with lex what do you have what are you bringing to the table my turn so i'm sure all three of us thought about talking about it this week the Chinese ban on gaming. Uh, It's kind of been anything everybody's talking about, if that makes sense. Uh, Mm -hmm. Essentially, it it, it brings up several questions, but 
being a parent or an authoritarian of any fi- of sort of figure to a child is is rough as it is. Uh, now China is saying that if you are under the age of eighteen, users will have to sign into a special program to prove their age. Uh, and they can only play for three hours during certain times during certain days. Mm-hmm. Now, as a parent <clears throat> or guardian, rather, to three little girls, I'm kind of like, okay, I understand your thought process. Um, also, China in the last year has like really done some, hey, you know, we're already having all these problems now you're throwing in violent video games and it's making people more violent um and there's been some like weird studies going on in china about gaming and how it affects children and how it affects people um and just the work ethic in general uh and so all of these developers are now panicking because if you know china one of the largest countries in the world is now saying "Mm -mm, only three hours a week that's a huge population that's huge. And so development then goes down. Uh, well, I'm sure morale is going down. Uh, but this new program just – the whole thing around it seems like it scares me a little bit. I also – part of me is like, you know, kids are going to be kids and, and figure out hacks and all of that. Like how harsh is this going to get? I, I, do, I have a lot of internal questions, I guess, that I can't mm-hmm. seem to find as far as like articles are concerned of – you know, discussing that route. Um, but I, I know that in China specifically, you know, video games have been linked, violent video games have been linked to uh, certain things. Um, I don't know, you know, I don't want to trigger anybody. Uh, hmm. So, you know, they, they've been releasing articles, essentially like fear mongering, like parents that, you know, video games are bad in general. And I know that the usage mm-hmm. has gone down quite a lot as far as like technology in the classroom, like new things being implemented. Um, and they make some good points. Like for, for like Genshin Impact, it's a free game, but it's like gambling. You log in every day and you get a reward. You do this quest every day and you get a reward, right? That's kind of putting that gambling like sensibility into your brain. If I play this every day, I'm going to get rewarded. If I do this every day, I'm going to get rewarded, right? And so the the question, the other question is not just violence, but games in general are teaching our children how to gamble and and use their, their time unwisely. And I understand that. And I, I, I guess my part is, are you not watching your kids? Is it that bad that they had to, I, I mean, I guess it was. Well, that I they mean, had like to overall, throw a ban in. Well, I mean, overall, I mean, Chinese, uh, chi- uh, gaming in China has always been very bad, but it, uh, uh, and the, kind of as, what Irma, you mean as far what as Irma God was saying. No, not regulation. I'm talking about in general. Like, think about it. Like, there, there was stories, multiple stories of people doing 24 hour, like, you know, going to gate because mm-hmm. there's like, there's yeah. game cafes and stuff like that. There's yeah. like, like, like the culture in gaming in China is like steroid up to where we're at here in the, in the yeah. U S and, uh, and it's, it is quite a bit. I mean, like data mining, all this different kinds of stuff, you know, when people are like, I mean, they have farms of people playing games 24 seven and stuff like that. So the level of, like, I mean, because like the reason why you would want to make a law like this initially is because you already know there's a big problem already initially uh, uh, of it. So that's so so now China's trying to crack down on it, which is I, I'd say it's pretty fair uh, on their side. But kind of like what Irma God was saying earlier about violent video games, I don't think that uh, violent video games have been linked to exactly jack squad of quantitative value. And yeah, it's there always been, hasn't been. Yeah. Yeah. The and it really never not peer reviewed or anything. It's just yeah. writing an article. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like the biggest thing is, is that like, in my opinion, like, yeah, uh, China has always had a problem in gaming for as long as I've remembered. Uh, So then, uh, so, so, yeah. So when it comes to a point where they need to do this kind of thing for them to crack down, I can kind of understand where they're coming from. And then I, in in a way, I'm I'm glad they're kind of doing it. Now, the level of of wanting to play a game (laughs) like that. I mean, and, and it's for, and, and it's re- in a way, it's kind of reasonable because, like, when you think about it, I don't know how, like, when you grew up, when I grew up, uh, ooh, sorry, uh, when I grew up, the uh, uh, one of the rules was we couldn't play games for the week in, in, during the weekday, during the school days, and then 
the only time we could play games was on the weekends was friday friday night saturday and sunday and then we mm-hmm. had to leave we had to get off the game at seven o'clock sunday and then just do do stuff with family and stuff like that like i mean to kind of but uh to kind of pour that out to like you know everyone that's under 18 and for kids and stuff and then they have to show to show approval and stuff like that i mean it's a step i mean i'm not going to say i'm not gonna say it sucks i mean because it does suck but they're doing what they feel like they have to do so they can try to avoid the bad stigma that people are getting right now because like i mean there's like i said people have died doing marathons of games quite a bit of people have died doing marathoning of gaming in china uh uh towards it so uh, i don't know i mean uh, like uh yeah so gaming addiction is, is is probably the bigger issue over in china in my opinion that they're trying to curb if anything um but what about what about you Smitty? what do you think yeah you know i'm always like i as far as government regulation and, and what i think are individual people issues i always have an issue with um, you know, to me, kind of like you were saying, it should be us as individuals, uh, parents, whatever, what have you to regulate your people. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I, I always mm-hmm. feel like it, it gets into scary boundaries when the government are making these decisions for you. Um, yeah, huh? you know, it's like, I've got a problem with that. Like, look, <laughs> dude, this is my system. I have purchased it. You're not going to tell me how much time knowing that, but that is a wide range from, the you know what i mean the age gap for that 17 being a high and what's mm-hmm. the low I, I don't even know what the low is but whatever well, 18 or it was 18 and under i believe 18 right and 18 and under oh, 18 and 19 under, under? N- yeah. 19. 19, 19 and under that's crazy I thought that's it was- crazy to me like oh, i wouldn't okay. want i don't want the government doing it not only that but now they're also they're also building a database of names if you have oh, okay. to use your real name and stuff like that as well and I think uh, they have to show is, some sort of identification, like a school ID yeah. or something along those lines, like a birth certificate, you know, to prove. Keep in mind, yeah. that this is the and, this and, is this is a communist. This is a communist. Right. Country. Ex- Absolutely. Like, the rules are saying, a lot different. China yeah. is not a democracy, so the yeah. rules yeah. are completely was, different there. Different. Yeah. I'm wondering though, yeah. also too, what it's going to do to the bottom line. Number one of of gaming com- uh, uh, companies. Overall, I imagine it's going to have some sort of impact uh, on their on their uh, uh, profits and and money wise and whatnot. Do you think like tense? I mean, like tense. Like, do you think this is actually going to hurt more for mobile gaming? If anything, I would think like that's another thing. Like, I don't know. I don't know how they're going to enforce it even uh, uh, overall with all of this. Because like, by the companies, though, because the companies that you go, they all you have to register. The only way you can play online their games is to be registered through it. them. They have yeah. to comply. They're going to comply with the government. So they're not even going after the individuals. They're going after the companies, which is a smart right. way to do it. Right. That uh-huh. way you blank it a hole. Otherwise, it's not manageable doing it by the individual. Right. So, you know, okay, but might, let's say theoretically, it's also might create let's some say, sort of black market where, yeah. you know what I mean? They're creating fake things or whatever. Uh, so there's a possibility, which, you know, anytime something is banned or restricted, a lot of times there's going to be bootleg versions of it. There's going to be ways to exploit it. Uh, so this will this will create a whole new black market uh, in some way or fashion. But I don't think overall as a whole, this is going to really take hold in uh, any other country because this is a communist country like we're talking about this shit would mm-hmm. not stand in a freaking you know what, I mean? <laughs> no. like, what the hell are you oh. saying to me like I mean, people yeah. are complaining that the masks <laughs> are taking away their freedom this would not fly <laughs> oh no yeah. Can you imagine yeah. if, they were, if we were totally yeah. complacent of that <laughs> oh, <there laughs> like, would be, th- yeah. yeah no dude that it would, would be, be very wild but uh, yeah. yeah, so but like I mean, but like I'm saying, like, how are you going to enforce? Like, let's say theoretically, Genshin Impact, for instance, like a game mm-hmm. like Genshin Impact, you could play on your phone. Like, who? How are you? Go- how are they going to stop an individual to 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 take a look into their phone to be to not play uh uh to stop them from playing within that three hour time limit? Is what I'm saying. What were you going to say, Lex? Uh, they have to log into a completely different system. So it's kind of like, okay, let's say we're logged in right now to Xbox Game Pass on my computer, right? I can go in, I can download a game, and I can play it. Well, I am not pressing on that icon any longer. I have to press on a different icon, which then does my login to prove my age that then opens the game within it. So it's like a th- it's a completely third party Mm. that you're logging into so you would have to have private information give you have yeah. to give them some sort of level of private you have information to prove mm-hmm. 
your age. So like birth certificate, um, yeah. passport, ID. I'm sure oh, like there's their account sort of will get flagged. Yeah. yeah. And so if you try to log in and it's not Friday, Saturday or Sunday in between that window, it's not going to let you. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, yeah, that's true. And that's, okay. that's basically they're leaving it up to the companies to regulate it. And then they'll come after the companies if the rules are getting broken. That's yeah, what it mobile, sounds like to me. I feel that something like this would hurt mobile a lot more than it would hate the bigger, like, you know, yeah. like, ten, like, like Tencent mobile, right. if anything, mobile companies that, 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 that do those freemium games for, for yep. the, uh, for kids and stuff it, are going to get yeah. hit big time they're, on that. They're based off of um, the amount of time people spend on their games. They yeah. want your time. Yeah. That's going to hurt a that's lot crazy. for them on that side. Yeah. So well, go, what Retro companies- was saying, I was going to uh, say, uh, you can say it. You can talk. You can With say, other oh, companies, uh, you're essentially, I'll go in this. Um, you're paying for a service for a long period, right? Like my Xbox Game Pass or my Netflix or whatever, right? So it's not them regulating it. It's a third party. But I'm still paying for Xbox Game Pass, regardless of how much time I'm spending. Uh, you know what I mean? So I agree. Mm. I think it's really going to hit the mobile market and these cafes that are housing these gamers mm. during mm. that period of time, because not everyone can afford, you know, gaming PC. Uh, you know, it's, it's going to hit the smaller end, but the black market, I think will flare up huge. Mm. Like that's, you know, you open a door, you close the door and you open a window every time. Right. Whether yeah, you want yeah. to or not. Pretty much. I definitely agree. Yeah. What were you going to say? Uh, yeah, you can go, yeah. go with it. No, I was just going to say what Retro retro on Twitch here was like, when I lived in Korea, they had cyber cafes where kids stay there for six to ten hours, getting little to no sleep and have social issues. The self-death rate is exponentially higher in South Korea, so I can honestly understand this being done. However, mm-hmm. China is way lower, so I think this is to reduce the impact of Western culture influence on the youth. I don't dis- control. Yeah. I don't disagree. I think, you know. But yeah. how is it more Western cult? I mean, technically, I mean, gaming wise, Tencent gaming's way bigger yeah, over there. Tencent I feel like gaming, Tencent gaming is 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 the is the, is the largest gaming studio or or, or or company in China itself, or in general in the world. Uh, it, it has yeah. its piece and everything uh, uh, itself. I wouldn't say it's more like what I don't know about the Western culture, cultural side. I can easily understand because like technically like, like gaming like cafes. Get, yeah. If anything, it's the other way around. Yeah, it. definitely. Yeah. Gaming cafes and stuff like that. We do have over here, but nowhere near the level of abundance that they have over in Asia. And then plus oh. the uh, level of, uh, of how things like, I mean, like, like they're known for like uh like I won't say server farming, but like people like farms of people Metadata. they're just sitting there banking on just you know leveling and just getting money or guilt or or money raising like you know mm-hmm. money farming and stuff all that stuff always has been known like for that kind of stuff over in age uh, on the Asia side. So I really won't say it's a Western civil like to kind of put a culture uh, cultural side on Western civilization towards that because it's really not on our. Not on us uh, from that, in my opinion, yeah. in my own personal opinion. Uh, but like, uh, but like, when it comes into like, uh, when it comes with the uh, uh, with ga- uh, when it comes to gaming itself, because like we don't have, like, I mean, don't get me wrong, we have our issues with when it comes to like, you know, people taking it too crazy with like, you know, social issues with like pe- people yeah. playing games too long here. But I think it's a legitimate issue in these countries, like especially in China, like uh, in, in China specifically for that. Yeah, essentially. So, I mean, they're like, if, if the, especially if the government has to come in and say it, that means that they've been keeping an eye on this stuff consistently yeah. uh, for mm-hmm. a long period of time. So I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't know. I always find that surprising. Cause I always, and maybe this is a, a horrible assumption to have. I assume that their curriculum is so much more vast than ours. Like in mm-hmm. the school system, I always, assume that you know they're they're 10 times smarter than we are uh as far as like the school system and all of that like they're constantly like going to school they go to school year round uh yes they are a communist country but you know like their education as far as in my mind their curriculum was always better than ours but now i'm thinking i'm like wait a minute it's just I, I mean, it's just I mean, well, it's just a matter of level of like, like I mean, when you when you game, you're trying to put, take off steam and stuff like that. And I mean, yeah. who knows? I mean, I mean, I know the pressures of uh, the pressures of, of like of everything. Who knows what uh, that might be one of the the crutches to do it? But it's, <laughs> I, I mean, I can't 
I can't really say, uh, yeah. can't really say exactly, but like, I'm just saying that like, uh, I don't know, like the, we'll see the, they've got, they've had free reign for a long period of time and now they're trying to crack down. So they're doing what they feel like they got to do to it. Yeah. See, we'll see where, where it's going to go. If it's going, if it's going to happen, it's another thing. Cause I don't know if, 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 if it's, if it's, if they're implemented it yet, but yeah, yeah but it's very interesting that, it, that it's gotten to that point though. I will say that. <clears throat> so very much so. Very good. Very Thanks. good. Uh, let's see. What's uh, the Irma God say? Say a lot of things here. <laughs> I'm trying to catch up. It's not so <laughs> society's fault. If the kids, they just need more discipline. People don't become addicted yeah. to games because they're bad people. They just become addicted to games because there's something wrong. Yeah. That's that's yeah. true. People can I get mean, away with it. I think they there's might... there's something in all of us for sure that mm-hmm. has mm-hmm. that. Oh, I'm being rewarded. Like regardless, if you're being rewarded for repetitive action, whether you mm-hmm. are a human or an animal, we react, and that's what they're banking on is the fact that we are going to react to that, and it's going to be a positive reaction in most cases, which then continues the cycle. <clears throat> so we're basically Pavlov dogging ourselves when we play well, these games. And and I'm I'm wondering too, like. All right, we know about the big dogs and stuff like that, but there are a ton of indie developers too. Yeah. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So, like, how, you know, there's other platforms. So, how do they plan on managing it as far as, as far as in terms of these people outside of, outside of whatever that ring or cone looks like that people have to use that system? I don't know. Uh, That's not only question. that, but then you also I have to know. think about people that are developing games there too. Are you still allowed mm-hmm. to take time to develop games? Because you're, you know what I mean. You got to test it and this and that. So. I would assume they're over the age of eighteen. If they're making maybe, but there's game, some. I mean, there's not. young there kids too. Young that developers. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mommy, so it's like, like, I feel like there's that. a lot more. You know, and it's like I'd love to look at what that looks like. I know, in, like you know what I mean in the the inner workings because it seems kind of vague right now to really understand what it is they're saying and how it's mm. going to affect the people over there. Yeah. Yeah. I do find it fascinating, but yeah, but we'll definitely, uh, definitely keep an eye and see, see where it's going to go. I, would, I am very fascinated by that, yeah. uh, that itself. So, well, and I try uh, to look up some more like, like in-depth information and mm. I was not getting good translations. <laughs> I was trying to translate <laughs> a few of them myself and it wasn't working well. So uh, yeah, I, I mean, it's a different culture over there a hundred percent. And so mm. I mean, I'm, I'm watching essentially. Right. Right. Right on. All right. Sounds good. All right. So my uh, topic is we're going back to Horizon Forbidden West, the big anticipated game that's coming out on PS4, PS5 next year uh, in 2022 in February. So we'll see how that where if that's really mm-hmm. going to happen or not. Uh, but uh, yeah, so there's some things that kind of happened in, uh, in uh, about this game that, that people are kind of perturbed about i will say <laughs> uh, uh the biggest issue is that uh the uh, so originally i believe someone said that it was told that the, that there was going to be a free upgrade between from ps4 to ps5 nope yes. not anymore they, they are uh, they're not <laughs> allowing you to do it a, a, a free upgrade from ps4 to ps5 for horizon for Hidden west so Bye. you're going to have to purchase a brand new game if you are needing to get the upgrade horrible move in my opinion because it's like you like dude like right now if okay if ps5s were in abundance in stock i could understand where your where your where where your logic is at but right now more people probably have a ps4 than they do have a ps5 Mm -hmm. and it's not my choice uh, uh for that so like uh so i don't know like uh uh i don't know why they are like locking you to have that chance uh to kind of give you the incentive to get it on ps5 because technically if you like i would want to play this on the only time I would, uh the, the, what if you're telling me this news now and i only have a ps4 that means i'm not going to get it because i'm going to wait till i get my console my ps5 console when it's right. available to get it on the ps5 i'm not gonna just wait and buy buy two copies i mean i want to buy i want to play the new ghost of tsushima but i'm not paying 70 dollars for that game right now because i've already bought the original one so right like, uh, yeah, yeah so so that so that was a dumb move on them but uh, on, on my opinion stupid move for them to do that uh, not an abundance of gaming itself second thing 
there are uh there's also a lock on you're not able to upgrade like you know how you can get the special edition like yeah. the edition pack the digital pack mm-hmm. um if you don't buy the original digital special edition pack you cannot uh like the, you can't buy like the original one and then get the upgraded version of that either they lock that out too uh uh, uh towards that so that uh, fomo trying to get yeah. that fomo <laughs> Oh my god, dude! I don't know what's going on with that. I was like, wow, that's kind of that's kind of stingy on the side. Like you're telling me you can't do a free like twenty dollar upgrade from the original one, like y'all used to do nah. all the time. It's like, oh no, that that's too much. You're asking for too much for uh for uh from us. So okay, cool. Now the cool, and then now the third thing about this, which is really crazy to me, is that because uh, I was telling Smitty about this the other day, was that there are three collectors editions in this one in this version not unheard of but out of the three two of those collector's editions are over two hundred dollars so like uh yeah <laughs> yeah yeah so one of them is a the, the, so one of them is a uh i forgot what they're called one of them is called the regala v- a version that's a 250 dollar uh collector's edition and then there is a there's the uh uh, there's a store collector's edition that's $199. The difference is two different kinds of statues. And sure. I was like thinking, that's it? <laughs> it's like, you're going to give me two different kinds of statues for this? So I'm like, y'all are really pushing uh, y- y'all are really pushing this game because this is a big AAA title for the PS5, uh, for a PS5, I will say. Uh, but like at the same time, the way y'all are doing, y'all are like advertising or marketing this Dirty. is kind of yeah it's kind of we- bad <laughs> i would say to in my own personal opinion uh i mean like for me i got ps5 i'm gonna get it on ps5 obviously and then but but still i just think like overall i think that with people who are don't have the chance to get this system or or have the system uh but they know that they're going to get it you should reward them. I mean, why are you going to make them wait months on in to be like, uh, 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 like, so, I mean, maybe it's just me, but maybe, or I know there's some people that just want to buy the game or they'll buy it again. They won't care. But like, I know there's going to those people that'll be like, okay, I'm just, there's no reason for me to buy the PS4 version. Uh, like, why are you going to punish them because, uh, to, uh, to do that? So that's what I wanted to know. Like what y'all thought about like their, how, how aggressive their, their marketing uh their their pricing is for for this game so i feel like and i feel like the writing has kind of been on the wall as far as with this stuff because originally this was just going to be a ps5 exclusive then yeah. they opened it up to ps4 i feel like they opened it up because they realized people don't have the systems they need to make that money back so we've mm. got to open it up and then it just kind of you know you know that slippery no, well. slope like well, since we already have it open, you know, yeah, if you get it on PS4, we can get a little more money out of people by then not making it a free upgrade to PS5, you know. And now, because like, I mean, even look at it, like Aloy is now in what's that one game? Uh, Genshin Impact, right? I think. Yeah, Genshin Impact. I don't know yeah, how many times exactly. we, we referred so to Genshin like, Impact in this episode, but that's. Yeah, funny. I, I know. I know. <laughs> I, I played a little bit okay. of that too. It's a cute game. Yeah, he plays. Yeah. yeah, he does. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, but yeah, it seems like right now they are already trying to recoup the losses that they are going to have because the, I, I think projections wise, it's not looking nearly like what they thought it was going to be when they originally projected this game. And now they're trying to compensate mm-hmm. uh, for the numbers that they came up with. And I think that's strictly what these moves are because it doesn't make sense. Festers. Yeah, that's exactly. Just, it, that's a really good way of looking at that. Yeah, that, that's a good yeah. point. Yeah. It just doesn't make sense otherwise to do the moves that they've made. And I feel like we've slowly been seeing the little pieces come into play, but they have to be very aware that PS fives are not out there and they know that there's nothing that they can do about it at this moment. There's the chip shortage. There's other, Mm. you know, extenuating circumstances that are kind of controlling this. So they're making that pivot and they're making that pivot hard because they got to make them, they still got to make the ducats. And those numbers have already been projected probably at a time when there was no pandemic and stuff like that. And like, yo, this is going to be strong. This is going to be good. Yeah. Yeah, But here's the thing though. Here's the thing though. This is what, this is what I understand. Yeah. But I definitely understand that. But like, like, but here's the thing, like, are they projecting that are they are they gambling on the idea that people are going to buy the game twice 
because that's 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 where it seems like this projection would come would, would come down because that's like if they're not going to allow you to upgrade from ps4 to ps5 because you know a major- i guarantee you i can't officially announce that, that this is uh, this is fact because it is not fact this is my opinion that most people that have a ps4 are just coasting to get that to get that upgrade for ps5 because you know the only reason why that you would want to buy an upgrade on the, on the game system is there's a game that's making you want to get the next the next gen console and this right. game is one of those kind of games that would do that but i'm saying that like uh that like some of these people like i bet you a majority of ps4 owners who wants to get this game would want to rather say, oh, well, the next gen console's out. I'm, I mean, why am I just going to get, like, why am I going to buy this game? Uh, why am I going to buy this game on the PS4 and get it on the PS5? But you can't because it's hard to get PS5s. So you, uh, so, so wh- I feel like they're, they're, they're gambling on the fact that they're going to, they're assuming the, the consumer is going to buy this game two, two times over before they no, get to, I don't think to so. do that. Because I think the fear of missing out is going to to sway a lot of people to end up getting it for PS4 and making it a tomorrow me problem uh, whenever mm-hmm. I get it. Because right now, who knows when I'm going to get a PS5. Right. But this thing is going to be out. It's going to be hot. They're going to come in hot with it. They will grab. I think I think it'll be a significant, significantly less number of people that end up holding out saying, I'm just going to wait till I get the PS5. than people that say shit is out. I have to have this game. It's available mm-hmm. for PS4. I'm just going to do it right now. And then, and then whatever, I won't have to worry about it later. It's just going to be better graphics or whatever on PS5 anyway. Right. Um, okay. You know what I'm saying? So I think, you mm-hmm. know, yeah, I don't think they're banking on really making that double dip money as far as with that. I just don't think they said, you know what, we're not even going to build that in as an option. Uh, Mm -hmm. for whatever reason, I don't know what, cause maybe we can get a a few ducats and they will, there will be some people that will own it on both of them. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So it's like, why not? They're not going to lose anything from doing that. It just makes them look scummy from our end. But you know, you know, but those kind of people, they, I mean, like, well, in the terms of, uh, of, uh, you know, freemium people, they, they call them, they, they call those people called whales because Mm -hmm. they're the ones that don't, it doesn't matter what it is. They're just going to get it. You know, yeah, for sure. so, so yeah, they're just going, they're going to just say, Oh, I got the money. Let me just throw the $70 again. And then just let me, let me experience this game again and stuff like right. that, you know? So like I, uh, so, but, and, uh, and the whales are the ones that usually are the ones that are be like, okay, uh, <laughs> there are not that many of them out there comparatively to the, you know, the community, uh, communal wise, but right. I'm like, damn, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I think it's, I, I personally think it's a bad, move. I, I, I don't know. I think it's a bad move for them to kind of not, it's not going to allow you to, uh, uh, to upgrade your game. Yeah. What, uh, when, what do you just do? I think it's kind of a scummy thing to do. I mean, what do you think, Lex? <sighs> kind of agree with Smitty on that one. I think it's more of like they're banking on the FOMO. And uh-huh. so they're buying the PS4 version because they don't have the PS5 yet and they're waiting. Mm-hmm. Uh, but again, like for me, in my mind, you are a whale. You are that one that would go, yeah, I'll buy it twice. If, if me? You, you, Smitty, both of you. I don't no, know. Y'all are nope. talking to the broke girl on the it, budget didn't do it when, we went, when they went from PS3 Hell, to PS4. No. I certainly wouldn't do it for, yeah, no, I am not you that know, audience. I, well, I like love. Well, you have I the love. like expendable expenses to be, yes, okay. If you no. didn't have the PS5, I feel as though. Maybe I would just be the person that says, I'm going to get it on PS4. I don't care. Whenever I, who knows PS5. when I'm going to get a PS5 anyway. Yeah. And, and that'll be a future me problem. And I won't Smitty's get it. I won't double guy. get it. <laughs> I'm not that. that. Buys multiple copies for friends yeah. and stuff. Yeah. And then, and then forget about playing it himself <laughs> until, <Yeah>. until, <laughs> until uh, we have to goad him on the, doing an extra live stream to do it. Yeah. I mean, that, <laughs> that, that's not, that's what it's, Smitty is. <laughs> he, he goes, but those were yesterday me problems. I'm moving forward. Yeah. He, he forgets exactly. about yesterday me. Don't forget about That's him. Right. He's back there going, no. I don't have time for these games. Yeah, yeah. No. I'm making a soundtrack of, like a thing of just with you with Ted, <laughs> Ted DiBiase's money, money, money. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm thinking Ted of. Ted DiBiase. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> 
Yeah, but no, awesome. if you don't know, you don't know me very well, but because like for me, because like Smitty knows me very well. Yeah. <laughs> no, like, that's not I even. Really be like, I'm like, uh, oh, because like I'm really fickle when it comes to buying when buying like especially new games, uh, uh, yeah. six, six, sixty seven dollar games. And uh, he always makes fun of me because I'm the one that's like, oh, this isn't worth sixty dollars, or uh, I yeah. wait eight months before and the then game he'll get drops, it. Yeah, drops down. I imagine, I imagine the PS4 is going to be sixty dollars, or right. are they going to uh-huh. try to sell it for seventy? Oh, let oh, me see. God. Wouldn't see, that be crazy? Wouldn't yeah. that be crazy? Yeah. So, like, I am for a price increase in gaming. I, I am really that. am. I am I four for that, but here's my problem with it. Like when a game like this is being sold at sixty dollars, ten dollars cheaper on the previous gen console, that means the game was built kind of off the worst level of version the system. Of it. Yeah, the worst version of it. That's the way I look at it. So, like, so mm-hmm. you're saying, like, now if it was a game system that was played on like the next gen, like, like if it, if it was built for the Xbox Series X or the PS5. I would uh, I would be wholeheartedly be fine for them saying, oh, it's a $70 game. Okay, cool. It's $70. But I don't like it when they have to upscale. They have to upscale that kind of production up to your next gen and then charge you $10 because it's right. the next gen. That I don't mm-hmm. like that. That's what I don't like. So like uh so I really hope that they don't that they that the uh well I think Forbidden West was being made for the five originally. I don't think uh, it's being and- made for the four at all before. And yeah, then so the shortage I don't think originally it was. And yeah, I think I that's why it. there's been delays. There's money. Like, you know what I mean? Like follow the money snowball. And it just kind of like lays out the, uh, the, the field of events that happened to get us to this point. You know what I mean? Yes. Yes. I think it's because they realized that there weren't enough PS fives out there for people to even, you know, for yeah. them to be able to make those losses back. They well, had they no like choice. A, I, th- I think, what, what, I think they're at 10 million right now. On PS5, so I've gotten yelled at twice now for not taking Smitty up on his second PS5 offer. <laughs> and, and yeah, I had, I had the, it right why there. Why did you dude. call me? I was like, he probably had a list of people to go down. I just happened to be at the top for some reason. So like, okay, <laughs> here we broke. go. Uh, so okay, so the Horizon Forbidden West Special Edition is seventy nine ninety nine. The yeah, it's a seventy dollar oh game God. on the PS on the PS5 for sixty nine ninety nine. So uh-huh. they, they, they don't even have the PS4 listed on here. So is PS4 <laughs> coming out the same day? I have no idea. I have no idea. Let me see. I assumed that they would. That well, would be weird. But now we're thinking about it in, in game in, in developer terminology. Like, I don't think I think you're right. Like the, the four wasn't in, in their mind at first. So I yeah. have a feeling that they already had, you know, packets into this the five series yeah. and not the four. So I feel like ma- they're remaking a whole game. So I, I can understand. It's crazy to me though. Anyway, why would you do that? Why would you not have it on the last, last gen console? You know what I'm I saying? Like, I think before, because I know this game was in production before we heard about PS5, even heard about PS5, right? Like we knew right, that there was right. a second one coming and yeah. then they were banking on PS5 sales, right? I don't mm-hmm. think they were thinking about the short, that there was going to be a shortage. No one was thinking about a pandemic. You know what I mean? This was back mm-hmm. in 2018, 2017 when life was good, right? We just worried about the flu and your common cold, uh, you know, and now, it, they're like, oh crap! We made a f- we made five gen. We need to go back to the four G and make that. And yeah, you know I what mean, I mean? Mm-hmm. I think that's what's going on. If I'm being honest, okay. But yeah, I see. Well, yeah, it looks like okay. So four. It looks like the yeah, it's on the PS4. For some reason, GameStop has it marked at fifty nine. So yeah, it's going to be a ten dollar increase on uh, PS uh, PS5 owners. Uh, so yeah, I mean. Yeah, I get. I mean, I'm gonna. I don't have a choice on it. That's fine. But, <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, I'm getting it. Yeah, there um, yeah. No, like, don't get me wrong. Dude. I'm, I'm, over the, I'm not getting the collector's. I'm still. I'm still debating oh. on. I might get the new Destiny Two Collector's Edition. I am. I might oh, get to dress up as Aloy for so you, dumb. and you can make whatever 3D model of me you need as Aloy. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> So you don't have to buy extra stuff. Like I'll pose as her, and then you have, you know. So he's like, this is too much work. <laughs> I'm not even 100 percent sure I know what you're saying to me right I'm now. She wants to do three no. going for no. Halloween. She no. wants you to be a. She wants you to. She wants to be dressed up as Aloy, and then you go to do a 3D print. I'll model. just stand in your house like, like a giant statue. 
Y'all should go for oh, Halloween trick or treating. You see Lex as a, a Aloy, you as a living color. <laughs> I can't. I've already. I've already promised Elsa that I'm going as a Ghostbuster because she wants to go as a ghost. Oh, I would love. Oh, that. it's awesome. Oh. Yeah, yeah. She could dress dress up as Slimer. That would be awesome. We haven't we haven't looked yet. She was talking. I think she was just talking about like a straight up old fashioned ghost. I'm not 100 well, no, sure. Get her the Slimer costume with the little fan, so she's yeah. like a blow up Slimer. Yeah, or Stay Puft oh. Marshmallow Man. Ooh. Yeah, yeah that, that would be hilarious. That would be I amazing. I bet you could find him in kids <laughs> for sure. Because I wear yeah. I wear the little I like the little kid blow up costumes. They're the well, oh, here's a question. Here's a question though. Sorry, to kind of get back on track here, but here's yeah. a question. Like, if we all play Horizon Zero Dawn, should we do a spoiler cast like what we did with Last of Us Two? I think that'd be awesome. I don't have, <laughs> I don't have it. I've uh, well, I've, you can watch it with watch play, play it with Smitty. Yeah, I, I, I can come over. I guess play with you. I don't still, have it. Yeah, still Smitty's a PS4 or or I, what's yeah, or, 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 or just get she or has just get, a PS4 or have just two. get a P, just get the PS4 version. I have yeah. I could. So there you go. Yeah. So uh, I'm just yeah. saying. I mean, I'm just if we saying. were going to do a spoiler cast, yes. Let's do, um, yeah, I'd say, we should, I, I'd say we should do a spoiler cast. I bought it for somebody else, and then they played it while I happened to be at work paying the bills, essentially. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'd come home come and they'd be like, no, nah, I'm tired. I want to watch YouTube now. And I was <laughs> like, this is fantastic. Love the bonding time with the game that we got for Valentine's Day to maybe bond over. No? Okay. Ooh. It was not Ooh. best. Yeah. Oh. So I was like, <laughs> it, was, uh, it was the cat. Yeah. It was the cat all along. <laughs> he might have yeah. it on his PlayStation now that I think about it. I'm telling um, you, okay, so we should definitely do it. I'm, I'm yeah. saying, I'd say, I'd I'll say do we should it. do spo- we should definitely totally do a spoiler cast of Horizon. We haven't done the spoiler a spoiler cast like, this whole year. Mm-hmm. Well, we don't That's know whenever, right. it, co- whenever it comes out. That's we don't have an official year. day. Yeah. I think it's Are like one of those one games. For this year? Nah, probably not. There's no, there's no game. Uh, there's nothing coming. I mean, what do you mean there's no games? There's no game that we all play at the same time. It's touching me. Uh, 12 minutes. Yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm probably gonna. Play I don't know if I would want to do that. a spoiler cast on 12 minutes because there's multiple endings. I that's know. true. That's a yeah, that's so true. That would be very, that's very true. Although it would be very, it would be very cool. We could talk about it like at the end of the year when we talk about like our favorite games this year. Okay, I'm yeah. down. I'm or down. You know what I'm excited for too, very quickly, is uh, that one game uh, by Bethesda. I forgot what it's called, Deathloop. Oh, oh, definitely. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. For, yeah. yeah, I'm not picking it up. Not not opening day, but I will be getting. I am playing yeah. on getting it. You know uh, what's funny? You can watch me. <laughs> yeah, I probably will. I probably <laughs> will okay. So to all my friends who have made uh, YouTube videos playing 12 minutes, I've 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 watched. Meaning, Opie mm-hmm. was in the bed watching. Uh, I I put it on for the so you get your viewership, but yeah, I haven't I spoiled you. it for mm-hmm. myself because I don't want to. I love yeah. multiple ending games, but I've been waiting yeah. for Deathloop. It's funny that you say that because I, earlier, I want to say like a month or two ago, my five-year-old, I, she watches a lot of YouTube, like Scary Cat. What's his name? I don't know. And um, like a bunch of Five Nights at Freddy's and all that scary stuff. And she asked me if I if I played Deathloop. And I, I said, well, it's not out yet. And I think maybe she overheard the podcast we were talking about like the new games coming out and she said, mm. well, I'm learning to play games on your computer. I'll play it. <laughs> I was like, that's very much a mature <laughs> game for you to be playing. And she's like, our scary stuff doesn't bother me. <laughs> I was like, right. You're not playing it though. And she was like, but I will. Like she was telling we'll me see. she's yeah. coming and playing it, but I, we'll see. I yeah. Well, no, we'll definitely we'll talk about that off stream, but we'll go with it. We'll go with the rest of it. But yes, yeah, so there we go. Horizon Zero Dawn, February twenty second. Uh, crappy setups for uh, uh for, the, for the February twenty second. This is my dad's birthday. Uh, yeah. So like, uh, what's it <laughs> called? Uh, yeah. Crappy uh marketing setup in my opinion, but uh, we'll see how this gonna go. Still gonna buy it because I mean, yep. the Horizon Zero Dawn was what a great option? game. Which, by the way, there's one thing I did forget. Uh, they just recently did an upgrade patch on the, the original Horizon Zero Dawn. So if you have a PS5, you can actually play it at the full full 4K 60. Oh, yeah. Uh, I still need to yeah. finish that DLC. I never finished yeah. it. 
Oh, oh yeah, the frozen, uh, the frozen one. Yeah, you, yeah. Frozen Wilds or whatever. Yeah, that's a yep. good one too. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so yeah, definitely get yeah. So definitely check it out. Play that game. Have fun. It's on Steam. The original one's on Steam. You could get the uh, the uh, PS4, and now you can play it on PS5 Enhanced. So there you go, Smitty. Yeah. Close Let's close it out. What do you bring into the table, buddy? This one's more for the the parents out there with kids that uh, play Roblox. I think we've talked about this Mm -hmm. uh, in the past as well a little bit, but where they were talking about bringing voice chat to Roblox. Well, it is officially, I believe, rolled out now. And, and, you know, this one is one my daughter plays Roblox a lot, but just some things from what I read from this article uh, and, and what they've been talking about makes me feel a little bit better um, there right now. So how they rolled it out, it's going to be spatial uh, voice. So basically proximity, you have to be within a proximity of another person to be able to hear them. Uh, they've used that stuff in, in other games and whatnot. Um, obviously Roblox is really geared more towards, or their, their audience is a lot of younger kids. Um, and, and in the article, they said, you know, adding voice chat of any kind into Roblox immediately raises concerns about how the company will moderate conversations, especially given Roblox's massive, uh, popularity with children, mm-hmm. but Roblox plans to roll out the feature slowly, which this part made me feel a little better, giving access first to 5,000 developers and all of them will be 13 or older. Um, mm-hmm. so they're, you know, off the bat, the fact that they, they are absolutely acknowledging that little kids play this and the potential risk of just having an open chat where anybody could talk to anybody yeah. uh, is, is definitely a, a scary thing as far as with that. So they said, you know, in this article as well, they don't even know if it'll actually come to kids. Uh, they're going to test it at 13 and up for a while just to see. So they're playing it really safe. That makes me feel better. You know, I, I am of the what do little kids need to be able to, you know, this and that and the potential for predators and people to go on these things that they know are, you know, have a, a bunch of kids and things like that. That's the poten- potential risk of that that you have to look out for. Uh, right. I, I felt like one thing that was interesting about this, though, too, was that Roblox actually just recently purchased Gilded. If you don't know what Gilded is, it, it, it's it's like it's very similar platform to like Discord, or at least it feels and looks a lot like Discord. They have different things that are that are whatever, but they are also you know being able to to be able to be communication via voice, video, and things of this nature. So I think that's smart on them. Clearly, that shows that Roblox are going all in on being able to connect better with people. So they even threw out the idea that maybe. Uh, for younger kids, you know, they're able to kind of go in through like a gilded formatted uh, thing to be able to talk with their friends, even though they're not playing or in the same games. Right. So mm. I think that could be interesting. Uh, yeah. I just don't overall, know, man. It's so. I know. Well, is, especially the, with how many kids. There's so yeah, many kids. Man. The Internet is very, very like you can't control the Internet. You can just do so much you can do a lot <laughs> to protect to protect your children on the internet and stuff and you're talking about introducing voice chat to like we're living in a world of people who are freaking trying to cheat in simple games for crying out loud mm-hmm. what makes you think that that's like it's going to be like i like roblox is the one game kind of like where what what lex because lex was talking about this about a couple months ago on this and uh and we and had her concerns on it now it's like when she's when you're now when you're giving out the more deep in details of it for them to even saying that they're trying to test this out to 13 year old kids and stuff like that is incredibly scary to me i don't have children and uh, it it doesn't feel it, it feels very Scary, hmm. scary and like i mean and look at you i mean like yeah, i'm a 13 year old and like yeah and then hmm. just even and even if it's theoretically let's say theoretically the the, the, the people that they are talking are 13 year olds or they're they're their age that they're that they're that they're uh uh the required age that, that they're that they're trying to uh show this on like you know uh like Look at the kind of stuff that they're going to talk. Like, I mean, kids have no filters. <laughs> I mean, mm-hmm. it's just like mm-hmm. now you're going to give them a it's chat room and going to be saying all this random crap and stuff uh, with other kids who may not, who who may be like, you know, could be bad influences and stuff like that. On top of it, I don't, I don't know. It feels like they're playing with. I feel like they're playing with fire with this. 
uh, in my opinion. Uh, uh, I, I just had to say that. Yeah. I, and I think that's, that was like the original conversation to begin with was that this was, that this was playing with fire. I think <clears throat> having a 13 year old where she doesn't have the, the mindset to think, Oh, they don't have good intentions. Uh, mm-hmm. When she's dealing with other people on the internet, uh, mm-hmm. we've already run into issues with that. Uh, of you gave, you gave what information up? Excuse me? No. Um, this is a grown man. He's not, you know, a 14 year old boy right. talking to you, you know, and it was, oh, okay, I don't care. What? And so in my mind, like, this is like, alarm bells are going off no absolutely not um i think again this comes back to you need to be paying attention to what your kids are doing and that's how we we've stopped these situations from going any further um Mm -hmm. they shouldn't have started in the first place and i think if you know all of the going through and and checking you know this is a kid's tablet and making sure they still got through on 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 a game on an indie game to her you know what i mean Mm -hmm. and so the whole, I mean, okay, let's, let's, let's talk real, real talk for a second. If I'm in a game and I say hi in a chat, the question I get asked is, are you a girl or a little boy? If I say I'm a little boy versus I am a grown woman, I get treated totally different. And so mm-hmm. how can I then take my experience on the internet of all of this time and right and all of the trash talk I've had in toxic chats and overwatch or what have you and put that to I'm giving this game to my child and hoping someone doesn't run up to her and say something inappropriate right and yeah. it's they're more likely to do it on a, on a game than obviously in real life or else we'd be punching people's lights out left and right with our kids mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. but I think that that opens them up to more of a internet world and culture that I don't think we're ready to have that conversation yet. Cause we've already seen how so far. Oh, we're never ready. We never <laughs> will be ready for that. No, <laughs> I, the, you know, and with the pandemic, like people were still depressed and it's like, well, you have your devices. Obviously they don't keep us that busy or people wouldn't have been complaining about being trapped in their homes because those devices would have kept them busy right at least mm-hmm. it did for me i was like it could be plenty busy <laughs> all the things that i want are in my home exactly so I'm here i have a tv i have two if that one breaks and i've got you know endless amounts of games and friends to play with but i'm right. still getting into toxic chats and all of that and so my worry as an adult female is now i'm throwing my 13 year old female goddaughter oh, into this no. game and hoping a, she's going to give positive feedback or be honest about her her interactions with people with me or you know what I mean? Because obviously, if they're testing it, they want the feedback, right? Mm. So I'm assuming parents are working with the children in that case because they're 13. We'll see. Um, but like, what about this, though? Like, I mean, like from what Gina said, I'm kind of, I'm kind of curious because like he says very scary. My six year old loves it and just thinks everyone is cool. Now, are you talking now to Gina? It's a question back to you. Are you talking the game or is the uh, is voice chat actually there right now? Like, is it on beta? Like, is it available? It isn't. OK, I just it is available it. Okay. for the 5000 developers. That's what oh, okay. stage is it, 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 it is at right now. Okay, yes. that's why I was wondering because I wasn't like mm-hmm. I, I hope it wasn't open on like open beta, right? Or no, or gold no or whatever. nothing even. Yeah, like they their biggest thing was that they are slow playing it. They said it's probably going to be on thirteen plus for a while until uh-huh. they figure out the other stuff. I think I'd be more open. Like the biggest thing for me, because you're right, if that was something that was just open, that stuff would instantly get set to off uh, yeah. playing on here. She wouldn't even have yeah. the option. However, yeah. there's some sort of format, almost kind of like because uh, there's but Facebook Kids Messenger turn it back on. Uh-huh. Yeah, but I don't. I don't know that she would. She would. I'm we would pick that her up pretty, that pretty quickly because we would have that oh, conversation yeah. with her. Like, you know what I mean? Like, does Roblox yeah. have a real parental settings options though? That's another quick thing. Like, like, uh, like can you control it. I think there is. Right. I'm not familiar with it. Yeah, but there's no way in hell I'd have that 
activated. Yeah. Now, if there was something within Gilded or within a, something like that to where, like, almost like Face or Kids Messenger, where you can monitor who they're talking to, the, they you, you have to invite as the parent the right. other parent to allow their kid to come in. If there was some sort of security like that to where they could, they would be able to supervising uh, do that. Like supervisor. I think I would, yeah. I think I'd be a little more open to that idea, but just yeah. a straight up spatial, like, yeah, yo, man, no like, I've seen her play and like just the things that like crazy things that they put in chat, like a lot of it, you know what I mean? Like you can kind of tell what they're saying and stuff like that. It's like, mm. yeah, yeah. Mm. But who the hell yeah. is that? <laughs> I mean, I just think that overall, like, like, yeah, well, first off, I like, I don't understand why they feel like they need it necessary to have chat for people that young. Like, I mean, your daughter well, is like think, what, six or seven years well, old. Here's right? my thing, though, dude. I think they're kind of, you know, because I feel like this is almost like a, a Fortnite move, right? Where they mm-hmm. want to start being able to build events where people can, can congregate and communicate with each other. They do have to start somewhere to be able to reach that goal and to be able to do that. Right. I, I think the biggest issue becomes you know, hey, there are a ton of kids that play this and are on this. Now mm. we're giving predators, potential predators and predators that are out there that also try to utilize this where before they were just typing in chat. Now they can physically talk to another person. That yeah. is a problem. You know what I that's mean? Cool. Like to yeah, where it, and then, and, and, you know, they're 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 based off of a, a it's a self-report tool. So you'll Very have disturbing. people, but li- again, little kids aren't going to know the difference if somebody is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like, that's the scary part about it. It's like, yeah, yeah that's not going to do anything, you know, I unless mean, they're doing it to somebody that's like pretending or that's older or something like that. But, I like, mean, there's no justifiable and- reason to have a kid to be on voice chat in general. Like, is what I'm saying. It's like, like, for instance, like, you know, when we, I mean, we grew up with the internet was growing, for instance. So you remember our time when we were growing up, it was mm-hmm. AIM and, uh, and all this different kinds of stuff. Yeah. Like, uh, and then there was texting and stuff like that. I'm just saying, like, there's no, I don't see a justification. Like, the reason why you would do voice chat and then you're wanting to do in this congregation is that you're, you're like you said, you're wanting to interact with other people. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying that, like, this is, but the game that you're, but, like, there's a certain, like, I'm just saying that there's a certain age limit that you should be, that that, that, that should even be considered, completely yeah. considered. Uh, because, like, uh, like, your, like I said, your sister, your daughter, uh, is playing and she's, like, under, like, she's, she's, she's not that old. I mean, but, like, she's not even a she's teenager seven. yet. Yeah. She's young. She's super young. Like, there shouldn't even be a non starter to say that the company to be saying, oh, we want children. To be on inside the chat room because it's like, or what, what are we hell? in right now? We're in a <laughs> pandemic where everything got locked down. So know, it was some ways for some kids that was the only way they were able to communicate with their other friends were through apps and through things like that yeah. too. True. So like, I feel True. like if it, you know what I mean, it like I think I feel like this is what pushed that forward to be able to do this because again, you know, there's some things, especially you know, that just aren't going to change or that people see and are, are going to become more common today. And I feel like, you know what I mean? Like this is, you know, their time to say, Hey, we want to give them to be able to have that opportunity to be able to do that. Uh, you know, and now it's a matter of being able to do it in a safe manner that then does protect uh, legitimate children. Mm-hmm. We know that there's predators out there, you know, there's all kinds of things to consider with this. So I am happy about the fact that they're, slow playing it and really mm-hmm. testing it out and seeing uh mm-hmm. because unfortunately i understand we didn't grow up like this but i think kids these day they yeah. want to be able to communicate and talk you know what i mean my, my daughter will talk with uh uh my nephew uh when they play like minecraft and stuff like right. that like it's common mm-hmm. you know it's, it's normal stuff for them yeah and i don't yeah. disagree on that I, I but again like if it was more of like a facebook messenger thing where they're video mm. chatting or like talking to each other like that through I'm okay with that because I've already communicated with the other parent. Nobody's able to delete messages. If someone's, you know, being mean to someone else, I can see it and address it right away. You know what I mean? But this, I feel like opens our kids up. It's like playing out in the middle of the street. Like eventually a car is going to come. Right. Mm -hmm. And as the parent, you are trying to lessen that impact of the car hitting your kid essentially is like the game you're playing. And yeah. it's, it's like, okay, I'm telling my child no in so many areas, as far as, as gaming is concerned. Now I'm telling her she can't talk to her friends in a game. That seems a little weird, but again, like there's always like ways to slip by. Like the, the person that, you know, was uh, messaging her last year was messaging through her school email. Her school email, they're not even catching it. Like, are you joking? 
Stop. Yeah, I wouldn't trust. I wouldn't trust that with my life so, uh, towards this at all. Yeah. I mean, I think there is a place for it. I think there is like for teenagers Agreed. and stuff like that. But I just don't think. But there's a certain 13? limit. Like I said, thirteen no. plus. No, well, no, thirteen plus is the lowest I would go. Uh, uh, would be the absolute lowest I would go. Anything lower, uh, I would not justify. Word because the internet a, is a scary, scary place, especially for yeah. someone that's not ready for it. So I, I don't think that. Uh, yeah, because like I mean, even like uh, so. Well, 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 yeah, but we'll see. But like, uh, we'll see how this is going. I'm glad. Now, I will say yeah. this in the positive note that I will say that they are taking it seriously, and they're yeah. they're they're because like originally we didn't know like how are they going to implement. It. We had so many <laughs> questions like what they were going to yeah. do. What are y'all um, doing in the first yeah, place? Yeah, exactly. Let's so I, at least they, at least they are showing off the fruits of their labor. So that's some good news in itself. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll, yep. we'll stop this off. <laughs> definitely, yeah, uh, that's definitely something I'll be uh, keeping yeah. an eye on for sure. Same, right same. Lex. Yeah. What do you have planned for the week? Oh, uh, finishing up crafts. I uh, made a bunch of uh, crystals and now I'm trying to clean up my mess because it looks like a bunch of fairies took glitter poos in my kitchen. Uh, <laughs> the, my floors are glittery. My counters are glittery. My oven is permanently maybe glittery. I don't know. Um, I'm also scared that I'm poisoning me and the animals slowly over this last week making borax crystals, but mm. man, do I have some cool Halloween decorations. So I'm going to seal them up the next couple of days. Uh, and, uh, yeah, uh, I have to lay in some corporal punishment tomorrow. So that'll be, uh-huh. that'll be my, uh, my Labor Day weekend. That's crazy. Well, that's, that's. Cool. A free backyard <laughs> clean. Yeah. I get a free backyard right. clean and I'll be spray painting uh like Modge Podge essentially on, on crystals. Wow. So nice. you're not doing any streaming any, anything on stream <laughs> that's oh. like that next week. It, well, I mean my that's- normal <laughs> stuff. Y'all know. Yo, why do you ask? Normal stuff. Because this is a gaming stream <laughs> and yeah. uh, uh, a gaming <laughs> podcast. Yeah, and no, you want to know what you're doing gaming wise. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess that is correct. I hate you. Uh, yeah, no, I, I I'm gonna go through hard on White Day one more time because I clearly can't do Hell Mode. Uh, no way, I'll be so mm. mad if I get most of the way through and I die. Um, <laughs> and uh, I definitely want to play twelve minutes. For sure. Yeah. I'm going to play 12 yeah. minutes. And pass. Yep, Definitely. I have it. I'm paying for it. Might as well use it. So. Mm. Oh, oh, big time. That That's very true. Spooky crafts. My house is going to look so cute and glittery. I'm excited. <laughs> nice. Very awesome. How yeah. about you, Smitty? What are your plans for the week? Yeah, you already know. We're. Uh, I think we might be doing finishing off two more Last Wish raids. Tomorrow, we finished one off last night. Uh, which was cool. I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get a vlog in today or this week just because I got family in town. It's gonna be nice. I'm gonna try to set up a shoot because my dad's gonna be in town. My mom's in town right now. Uh, and we're gonna try to get a family shoot in, uh, nice. while everybody's out here because it's been a grip and, and with right. new baby and stuff like that. So we'll oh, see. Yeah, your that brother stuff too, up. right? And all yeah, that. The yeah, whole thing's gonna yeah. be there. The nice. whole family will be out here. Yeah. So that'll be cool. And then, um, <sighs> I got to look at my I got to look at my Thursdays. I really need to I really want to be able to finish up the uh, and move forward with Mass Effect and then Halos. I want to be able to switch due to Halos, but I've got to finish Metal Gear Solid 5 first. I've got the four missions left uh, to be able to complete the whole thing, which is so terrible. You do know you do know that like Lex bet you a hundred dollars. Time's running out. Time's running out. Like when was that? When was Last that? Year. No, uh, no, it was this no. year, but it was, it was this year. Oh. It was this year. But I, I can't remember. No, I paid a hundred dollars for last year. Yeah, yeah. that was that was, Davis. That, that was, that was Davis. Yeah. yeah. I said that I didn't want to yeah, this was earlier this year, and I was like, there's mm-hmm. no way that he's, like, I didn't want to take that bet because he was closer, he was a lot closer than what he was at before. Mm-hmm. Now we're hitting almost less than two months away. The game. Technically, I, I have that. beaten the game. <laughs> They're just the hard missions of yeah. missions I've already done. Uh, this was like the beginning of February, I think, because I had yeah. I hadn't had COVID yet, and we had already gone through the whole laugh about of you finishing the like the year prior, the first yeah. chapter, and you thinking you beat the game, and in February terrible. it was the first week of February. It had to have been the first like week. No, or two. it was this year. It was a, you're t- you got yeah, COVID last that's what year. She's talking about. 
No, she said when she had COVID, oh, she no, had COVID last right. year. Oh, that was like, yeah, that was, <laughs> no, that was right. last year. Yeah. yeah. So, it's I been one she, freaking blur, yeah. okay? Everyone's yeah. talking mm-hmm. about it. I'm not calling you out. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. But no, like, but I think so. you're, no, I, I, we were talking then. Okay. Well, the point being is, I, is that yeah. you, you that she, it again. She, she did it and you weren't going to finish it again. And it was like six months. It had to have been months yeah. ago. It was More months ago. That, yeah. Yeah, it was like a long time, and it's like wow, it's all and it's all we're almost at November, dude. And it's like, got this Yeah, I've had yeah, my yeah. kitten longer than we've been playing this game. <laughs> Wait, what? He's almost a year. Uh, we got Gen Z during like the, the joke about of you not finishing the game last year. Uh, Jesus, yeah. yeah. She has she a cat. Is. Got yeah. a new cat and stuff. She's now yeah. engaged just, and stuff but I'm like close. that. I'm a lot closer to what I was. Because there's other things too. I need to finish Red Dead Redemption too. I yeah. still need to do. I still need to do Ghost. Uh, I still You're have Death Stranding to finish. Well, I am going to well, finish it. Dude. You don't Call know me. Duty? Call of Duty. No, yeah. not no. Ghost. Not that Ghost. You Ghost to shoot some. Shoot uh, Gotcha. Or some y'all like to say Shushima or whatever. Yes. Whatever. To me, it's Uh Yeah. Yeah, so that th- those are those are I've got a lot of plans, but I paternity leave is officially up after this weekend for Uh-oh. me. Luckily, it's a holiday weekend, Oops. so yep. I'm not back till Tuesday. Yeah. But I got a couple of studio shoots next week, uh, and then one in the office. So there, I'm I'm kicking it right back in full hundred percent gear uh, nice. when work starts back up. So that's what it is for that. What about you, man? What do you got going on next week, brother? I know that FF fourteen. Yeah, you know, originally I was putting it as an incentive uh, for uh, for Extra Life to me to play FF14, but I've done like five streams of it, so I'm probably going to remove it and then do something different. <laughs> oh, no. uh, but uh, uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna probably I, I, now uh, this is going to be probably my last week of uh, not streaming consistently uh, for the week. Uh, but uh, I know Monday, I believe, there's going to be trivia. Uh, T dot does trivia on our channel, so we're going to be. Mm. I believe I believe it's Batman the animated series trivia. Uh, Ooh. This, this Monday night, yeah. What, so. is what is this? Do you have a trivia series that you never told us about and invited us yeah, to? Yeah, what the hell? What? This is it's not me. I told you it's not me doing it. It's like you never like, been like, hey, can I bring my friend on? My friend wants to. We oh, well, we're trying I it out. Okay, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna do my own trivia night. Fuck you. <laughs> we're trying it out to see how it works. Uh, uh, yeah, we're trying it out. We're seeing how it all works, and then he's going to say because he's going to make it like Jeopardy, and, uh, oh, no. and uh, yeah. uh, so we're going to do. Yeah, so he's going to do his own thing. So yeah, definitely Monday night. If it, if it, if it's successful, we'll get more people in on the mix of it because I guess that's yes. the one thing we're going to try. Definitely going to try. But this is this is I the time we're going to mess around. Like, yeah, yeah. Hit the yeah. Button. So I've got a slam button. I do too. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> oh my god be my buzzing button <laughs> yeah. so monday well there's actually a button that comes with it like a digital button where you just says buzz so you just do it so you don't have your own thing but uh yeah yeah <laughs> so that's unfortunate <laughs> i think it's probably to avoid what you just did <laughs> but uh yeah so monday's gonna happen with that then on Friday, no Thursday. I'm, I'm gonna try to finish up my 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 goal is to finish up storm, uh the last expansion of Final Fantasy 14 by the end of the week. Nice. Uh, and then after that, uh, Friday, I'm going to do my the beginning of my Tales of Arise uh uh, uh pickup because the game comes out in November uh this Friday. Um, and uh, N- Namco Bandai is actually very being so kind, giving us a collector's edition. So I might do an unboxing nice. of that too. So that's gonna be pretty cool. So yeah, so. Yeah. Anyways, guys, this was episode 105 of the CFG Gamecast. Thank you so much for being a part of the conversation, as always. So you can always check us out uh, uh, on Saturdays when we stream. But if you did miss this episode, that is okay. We release it on podcast services on mo- every Monday morning. like uh, So you can listen to us on Apple, Google Podcasts, Stitcher Radio, Podbean, what have you. You can do, We are on everything so there is no reason to not miss our sexy sexy voices <laughs> so, <laughs> so we'll be back again next week uh but in the meantime you can always check uh, the podcast or go to our main website confreaksandgeeks.com to check out all the awesome and en- content that we like to do and pointing at at uh, lex's dog 
<laughs> so uh, once again, this is Davis, Lex, and Smitty signing off. Y'all, take it easy. Bye.